came down to. The minute I came down, I saw one mad man, old man, elderly man, so rough, no my real, real, real mad man. He was looking at me. I was looking at him, and I moved closer to him. Then I was, we were discussing. I asked him about his name. He told me his family, where he lived. We are discussing. We are along the way. People started driving. Immediately, he, he got to a certain period. He just paused. I said, what, what, what was the problem? What happened? He said, I, I, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I said, okay, you are hungry. I gave him money. I said, take, go and buy food. Immediately, I gave him money. What did he do? He knelt down. I was thanking God. I, I was looking at him. After that, he prostrated for me, thanking me. So when I saw people have started gathering, I left the place. So and I went to eat myself in the restroom. When I got there, something now spoke to me. He said, look at that madman. That condition. He was thanking God. He was thanking me. He was thanking God. Appreciating God. Now ask me, how many times have you thanked me today? He was, I said, ah! I was shocked. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I'm guilty of this. Forgive me, Lord. So now, this scripture now flashed in my mind that look at it. In the last day, people will be ungrateful to God. And that is what is happening. And now, there was a time I read me, uh, my brother, uh, the message concerning that un ungrateful. I read it. The thing that came to my mind, oh, I said, Lord, try that period. I wasn't myself. I said, Lord, forgive me. Look at my, look at myself. I'm in good earth, uh, sound mind, everything. I'm his food and all these things. And I refuse to thank God. Oh, I said, Lord, forgive me. Throughout that period, I wasn't myself until I got to my place. Look at it. That mad man in that condition, he was, on, he was able to thank God, to appreciate God. But look at you and I. How many times have we appreciated God? Only complain, complain, complain. More money. God will have mercy on us. I know this thing will help us. That's how I have to bring it in. We should learn how to appreciate God. Then, let's go to the message. Please. On uh, 520810 A. I am the resurrection and the life. Paragraph 46. Do not take much of time this morning. Thankful, my brother. Thankfulness is very important. Paragraph 46. Many of, many of us are guilty of that. When you read the message, you see. Unthankful people. It's wrong. For us not to be thanking God always. Any situation we find ourselves. Paragraph 46. 520810A. 46, paragraph 46. Then I will start to read from the 46C. Because, okay, let me just start from the 46. Then every time when you get ill, here comes symptoms moving right around you again. If it didn't, be careful. See, Satan's, Satan has always there to detect what God has done. Then his ministry got great. And away he went. Out into then we come to our text. Okay, let me just let go let me go directly to where in the same paragraph. But where I want to read is uh, yes. You welcome him into your house, let him be unseen guest. Sit down at the table, never eat without thanking him for it. You see. Many of us just carry food and be eating. We will not thank God. Thank God, Lord, I thank you for provision of free food. We don't know where the evil food comes from. It's wrong. I promise you, never eat without thanking him for that. I see many people call themselves, call themselves Christian. Never return thanks just as illiterate as a hog under an apple tree. No hog. It's a kind of uh, domesticated uh, pigs. Pig. Under an apple tree, a hog can sit under 
an apple tree, and the apples will beat him on the head. Sorry, let me take it in. Just as an illiterate, as a, a hog, hog under an apple tree. A hog can sit under an apple tree, and the apples will be beating him on the head all day long. Where we be under the, uh, then the apple will just be dropping on, on his head and will be eating, be eating. And he will eat till he can't grunt no more, hardly. But he will never look up to see where they are coming from. So without be eating, he will not look up, and the apple is dropping, but he will not look up to see where those apples are coming from. That is right. That is exactly the truth. People just so unthankful. You see, people just so unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, inconsequence, and all these things. You see, people are so unthankful. They don't even know. When God is making a way for you, look at you and I, we are good earth. No problem. Go to hospital. Go to mortuary. God will help us this morning. God will give us grace to have the habit of thanking him always. That is all we need. You know why we thank God for more? Where we thank God. More are coming. Look at our Lord Jesus Christ. When he got to that uh, grave where they buried uh, Lazarus. What did he do? First, he said, thank you, Lord, for you always hearing me. That's it. He thanked God. Thank you, Father, for you always hearing me. You hear me always. Just like our, uh, when we done something for our pay, our children, they will so appreciate it. They will be thanking you. Then next time, you will, you will feel you like to do more. The same thing with God. When we appreciate God, God will do more. Let's go to another place. And I want you to know that the life that is full of complaining and more money can never appreciate God can never appreciate God or be thankful. That kind of life can never be thankful. Look at the children of Israel. So because of the time, we can read when I get to I think Numbers 14. We can read from verse 1 down. Know how many years? They spent 40 years in the wilderness. 40 years. And before they disobey the word of God because some of them were killed 40 years they ate food they like they did not change their clothes their shoe did not worn out did not wear out they ate anything they like manna from their bow but when the little mistake comes they forgot what God has done for them they started complaining more money Let's read, let's read down from the message preached on Israel and the church. 53, 53-0327. 53-0327. 53-0327. The church, the, the Israel and the church. 0-2-2-7. Let's read from paragraph 162. Paragraph 162. Paragraph 162. All thankful people. Complaining, always more money. Para 162. Israel and the church. 530327. Complaining, always more money. I don't know what to do. 
Oh, my, more money. Left the garlic pot to eat angels' food. They left the garlic pot when they were in, in, in Egypt to eat angels' food. They left, left the boasting physicians of Egypt to be with, with the great physician that God had been healing them. None of them felt sick throughout that 40 years. No one until when they disobey God, when they fail to hearken to the voice of God. That is when some of them are were pedis. But before then, they were looking good. They were doing fine. Left the boasting physician of Egypt to be with great physician. Left a bunch of people who said the days of miracles is past. My goodness, to be with those people where miracles and all things are possible. Look at you and I. God separated us from world, from the world. He called us to be the sons and, and to be his sons and daughters. See here we are complaining. Where miracles and all things are possible, right with the bunch, still complaining. That is right. What a condition. What a condition. They left the moody waters of Egypt to drink from the fountain that never run dry. Still complaining. No wonder their supply was cut off. You see? Why do you are complaining? Why do you do this? All this. Instead of thanking God, be thanking Him. They have forgotten what God has done for them. Then the water supply, the supply was cut off. May our supply never cut off in Jesus' name. So let us cultivate the habit of thanking God. Thank you. Let's appreciate ourselves. Let's appreciate God. It's very good. My brother and sister, let's go to another place. 54. The 54 0 Redemption in completeness and joy. Zero, three, three, zero. Then paragraph one sixty four, one sixty five, fifty four, zero three three zero. Paragraph one sixty four to one six five. And that is what okay, let's. then they were out here where they had a pillar of fire around them. We got it tonight. They were out there where they had joy in the camp, shouting, miracles being performed, and everything, and then complaining about it. But still, all the children of Israel, the same thing is happening to many of us today. We are eating angels' food. The, the spiritual food induces it, being stuff for us, and we are still complaining. God will help us. Being performed everything and then complaining about it. That is the reason the water dry up. That is the reason they didn't have nothing to eat or drink because they were more money. And that is what and that is what is the matter with the churches around the Lucifer, all around the world, even the, in, the, in Nigeria, to, today, tonight. More money, complaining, mercy, get back in the harness. That is it. Complaining, more money. When you keep on complaining, your complaining, your money cannot make things right, my brother and sister. It will make it worst. It will make it worst. But when you are complaining, a lot of things will be crossing your mind. You will not even have time for God again. You will not have time for prayer. You will not have time for the word of God. God will help us. We'll give us grace. Not to be complaining in Jesus' name. Let's go on. When we express our appreciation or thankfulness to God and others, it brings joy and peace into our lives. 
Yes. Let's go to Philippians 4, 6 to 7. Philippians chapter 4, 6 to 7. Popular scripture. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, not with complaining, not with more money. Say with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. You see, when any situation you find yourself, you don't need to complain. Don't more more. Be thanking God for that. That was a time our pastor used to tell us that when the battle becomes so tough, if our pastor say, turn the battle to what? To worship, praise, and thanksgiving, and see what will happen. That's what we'll be doing. Instead of just putting ourselves in one corner and be crying, shedding, shedding tears, it cannot solve the problem. God will help us. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. When we are thanking God, thank Him for what He has done, thank Him for what He's going to do, thank Him for what He's doing for you. Then God, God, just like human being, we have feelings. God has feelings for us. When you are thanking, not only bring, 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 bring. If you have a child that just come, my daddy, I need this, he give it to me, and he, he walk away. The following day, I need it, he walk away. Without even thanking you for what you have done, how will you feel? You feel so bad. You say, okay, next time if you come, I will not give it to you, I will not do, I will not do that again because of the attitude of that child to you. The same thing. Our attitude to God at times, it might even make him to change his mind. Why you only just bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Bring, bring, bring. You do not even return thanks. God will help us in Jesus' name. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall so keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. When you are thanking God, the peace of God, which passes all understanding, you have peace of mind. You have joy. When you are thanking Him, that, that, that challenge you are having, or what we call it, He will not have any dominion over you. You just count it as nothing. Just try it. He will see the results. God will help us in Jesus' name. So let's go to another place. We should always be thankful to God. We should always be thankful to God. Let's go to Psalm 107, verse 1. Psalm 107. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. God is good, and his mercy is endureth forever. Well, keep on thanking him. God is still there, he's looking at you. He knows what we need of. I want God to be thanking him. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Let's go to another place, Psalm 147, verse 7. Psalm 147, verse 7. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praises upon the earth unto our God. Sing unto him with thanksgiving. When we are thanking him, praising him, look at the word of Jericho. What fell that war? What fell it? They are praising, they are praising the Lord, they are singing, they are dancing. They are praising, thanking God. And the, the wall, the wall of Jericho fell down. You know the diameter, you know the, 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 the size of the wall we are talking about. And it fell down because of the thanksgiving, praising, and worship. God will help us in Jesus' name. Let's go for that. Let's go to Psalm 69, verse 30. I will praise the name of God with a song, and I will magnify him with thanksgiving. That is what God wants. Thanksgiving. He doesn't need any other thing from us. That's what is food. His food is appreciation and thanksgiving. When we will keep on thanking him, appreciating him for what he has done for us, that what he is going to do, and what he has in future for us, what he is doing for us presently, then 
God will be very happy even to do more. God will help us in Jesus' name. Let's go to another place. Psalm 103, verse 1 to 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. That is David. He knew what thanksgiving meant. He knew what, what it meant to him. He said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget and forget not all his benefits. We should not forget all the benefits benefit of God in our life. God has been fighting our battle for us. He has been giving us victory over all our enemy. And what else? We are in good condition. We are able to come to the house of the Lord to worship God today, this morning. Go to, uh, go to hospital. Go to many other places. You see people there. Look at that crazy, that uh, madman I was telling you about. He was able to thank God. Look at that condition. But look at you and I. We are with our right senses. Our sound mind. And we could not thank God. He said, we are complaining. More money. Where will I get money to pay school fees? Where will I get money to pay house rent? Oh, no food at home. All this. That one cannot solve the problem. Cannot solve the problem. The God is a Lord that supplies all our needs. He's able to do that. He's still doing needs. Let us have faith in him. Let us cultivate the habit of thanking him. Where we keep on thanking him, he will be able to do more for us. Even without even asking him, he will do it. God will help us in Jesus' name. Who forgiveth all the iniquities? Who forgives all the iniquities? Where did he do that? At Calvary. He paid for all our sins. At the debt that we hold. He paid for everything. He died for our sins. And we are still complaining. What else do we need? For somebody to come down. To lay, to lay down his life. For you and I. That is the greatest sacrifice, my brother and sister. So for somebody to lay down his life for us. To take away our sin. Even that alone. That alone even should cause us to be thanking him always. If you don't have any other thing to thank him for. That alone, that one alone is enough. We welcome the morning. Thank you for that for me at Calvary. You, take, you took away my sin. All the, all, you pardon me. All these things. You shed down your precious blood for my, for my sin. That one is alone. You know, Bible says, seek God, seek, the, seek God first and his kingdom. I seek, oh yes, and every other thing shall be added unto you. You seek him first. When you seek God first, seek him first. Instead of complaining, instead of more money, God will help us. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth who redeem thy life from destruction? He redeemed our life from destruction. Who crowded thee with loving kindness and tender mercy? Loving kindness and tender mercy. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles? Look at you and I see the way we are so happy in the presence of God. Here and hearty. We should cultivate the habit of thanking God. God will help us in Jesus' name. Let's go to another place. Jonah 2 9. Jonah chapter 2, verse 9. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. You see, Jonah was in the belly of fish. When get home, you can read the old uh, the old chapter. You know, when God sent him to to where? To Nineveh. God sent them to go and preach to them. But because of the fear, because those people, they are so terrible. He knew the way they killed prophets and they killed the man, the men of God over there. He now ran. He went to Tarsisi. Because of that fear. You see what befell, what befell him. At the end of the day, they threw him into the sea. And then the, the, a very big fish just swallowed him. You see? Then he was in the belly of the on this uh, fish. 
a, a serious situation, terrible situation for that matter. It was not complete. Pray God, just keep me. I'm ready to die. What am I waiting for again? All these problems. Are... No. But say, but I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. Look at that terrible situation where you find himself. He was, he was able to thank God. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. And then God had him. God had him. Though it was, it, it, uh, it was, a, it was a plan. God planned for that. That's how God planned for it. God had a prayer. So, no matter the situation we find ourselves, my brother and sister, let us find time to thank God. It's good to appreciate God. It's good to thank Him always. So, when we are doing that, then God will be very happy. And He will do, He'll be doing more and more for us in Jesus' name. So, bless the Lord. We have come to the end of the, the service this morning. Sorry, it's a very short uh, message. But what just moved me is uh, because of that madman, when I saw on that road, honestly, I felt so bad when, uh, when God told me that, how many times have you thanked God today for what he has been doing for you? And likewise, my brother and sister, how many times have you thanked God today for what he has done for you and what he what is doing for you? How many times? God will help us in Jesus. And finally, let's go to 540516. Then we we'll round up. 54. That question and answer, paragraph 164. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us try as much as possible. Just forget about uh, what you are passing through. God is able to perform all what He has promised. Our own is just to have faith in Him. 54 Question and answer. Para 164. 164. Yes. Those can be on can rise on our feet is the is our prophet's prayer. Let's open our feet. And let's just echo amen. Randall. Be with us in coming afternoon as we visit the sick and the needy. The short aim. Help us in our homes as we go home. Not to be like a pig to sit down and eat. But may we look up to the creator and say, Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving to me this food. May we tonight not go to bed as unthankful children. Unthankful children. But may we, on our knees, we spend a long time in prayer and thanksgiving. Rising tomorrow, saying, Father, I can't travel this day by myself. Take my hand now and lead me through the day. Oh God, grant it in Jesus' name. So let us close our eyes and let us pray. Come to the end. We request, Brother Ikemese, to pray for us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Our precious Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. Another opportunity to have simple together before thy holy presence. Amen. We thank you, Lord God, for preserving our lives. We are not better than those that are in the hospital now. We are not better than those that are sick or those that are dead. Lord, but your mercy has brought us so Lord, behold. Lord, we appreciate you. Amen. We give you all the glory. Amen. We thank you, O Lord, Jehovah, for we don't merit this, O Lord. O Lord, Jehovah.
Amen. Inspire them, O oh Lord Jehovah. And Amen. Bring them, O oh Lord God, unto a higher level. Amen. They may, they may play skillfully unto you this morning, Lord. Amen. Our technical crew, Lord Jehovah, we appreciate them. O oh Lord God, may you, O oh Lord God, lift them, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah unto a higher standard. Amen. Lord, inspire them, O oh Lord God, in their sacrifice, O oh Lord God. Reward them, O oh Lord Jehovah. Because Amen. Because they are the most merciful God. You never forsake your children, O oh Father. Amen. Once more, Lord. Oh, bring us, O oh Lord God, into this field. Give Amen. us the word comfort, O oh Lord Jehovah. May Amen. you anoint it, O oh Lord, that we may, Lord Jehovah, bless our lives, O oh Lord. Amen. May you bring repentance into our soul. May we, Lord God, take inventory of our lives, O oh Lord God, as you speak in your servant. Give Amen. him boldness, O oh Lord God. Give him unction of speech. May he come, O oh Lord God, with demonstration and power of your word. Amen. Signs and wonders, O oh Lord God, miracles. O oh Lord God, it is a promise that this son shall follow the end of the day. Yes, sir. We are here, Lord Jehovah. In a great expectation. Amen. Lord, your Lord God, we pray that that cast away every fear, even imagination, so Lord. Amen. It is, oh Father, bring us up, O oh Lord God. Amen. Blue sky. May we, O oh Lord Jehovah, move with a cloud of glory. Amen. We know that your blessings have come down. Oh, that have, O oh Lord God, delivered us, O oh Lord God, from every atmosphere spirit, from every curse of the devil, from the plans of the wicked, Amen. from every snare of the devil. Amen. That Bless this morning. Let us clap unto God. Let us appreciate Him. Let us God bless you, my brother and sister. You see, when you instead of complaining and murmuring, just count your blessing. Name them one by one. I will see what God has done for you. When you are counting your blessing, you forget about your problem. You see, God, you see that God has done so much for you in life. Let us sing that song. Only chorus. Why the song leader will just come right away. Thank you. Count your blessing. Name them one by one. Chorus. Count your blessings. Name them 